Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. During the next couple of months, so many amazing things are going to be happening in the heavens. For example, during the Great American Eclipse of 2024 on April 8, the Sun, the Moon, and the Seven Wandering Stars will all line up in the sky. It is almost as if the entire heavens will be screaming that this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. But before we get to April 8, there will be some other absolutely incredible things happening in the skies above our heads. On March 25th, we will witness a penumbral lunar eclipse. The following comes from the almighty Wikipedia. A penumbral lunar eclipse will take place on Monday, March 25, 2024. It will be visible to the naked eye, as 95.57% of the moon will be immersed in Earth's penumbral shadow. Since so much attention has been focused on the Great American Eclipse of 2024 on April 8, this other eclipse has kind of snuck up on us. Apparently, most of the world will be able to view this lunar eclipse. It will be fully visible from most of the Americas, will be seen rising over Australia and Eastern Asia, and setting over western parts of Africa and Europe. Interestingly, this will also be a blood moon eclipse, and so, to many people, the moon will appear to have a reddish color. The following comes from WND.com. In the upcoming lunar eclipse, the Earth's shadow will block out 97% of the moon's surface. This eclipse will be a blood moon, the result of atmospheric conditions that give the moon a reddish tint rather than black when it moves into the shadow. The red color comes from some of the sunlight passing through Earth's atmosphere where it gets bent, and colors like blue and green are filtered out, leaving behind longer wavelengths like the color red. At least, that's what mainstream science says. On top of everything else, this blood moon eclipse also coincides with Purim. The first day of Purim goes from sundown on March 23rd to sundown on March 24th. The second day of Purim goes from sundown on March 24th to sundown on March 25th. So this is going to be a blood moon Purim eclipse, and Pastor Mark Biltz believes that it is quite appropriate that the moon will be eclipsed on Purim. The first lunar eclipse on March 25th will coincide with the Jewish holiday of Purim. Biltz noted that it was fitting that the moon should be eclipsed on Purim, as Esther literally means hidden. There is another connection with Purim that I didn't learn about until today. According to the Supernatural by Design YouTube channel, the dates that eclipses occur in 2024 align almost perfectly with the dates that eclipses occurred in 480 BC. The individual behind the Supernatural by Design YouTube channel seems to think that the most important events in the Book of Esther took place in 480 BC. I am not sure if that is true or not. It is generally accepted that the events in the Book of Esther took place between 483 BC and 473 BC. So, it is entirely possible that the showdown with Haman happened in 480 BC. In his video, he tries to make a number of other connections between what is happening in our time and what happened in Esther's time. I don't completely agree with everything that he has to say, but if you want to watch the entire video, you can find it on YouTube. There is certainly a lot in that video that can be discussed. But what we do know is that a blood moon eclipse will occur on the second day of Purim this year. And in the book of Esther, we read that Purim was a time when God delivered the people of Israel from being destroyed by their enemies. Could this blood moon eclipse during Purim be a sign that the people of Israel are about to be delivered once again? That is a good question. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. We also know that in late March, the Devil Comet will be racing through the sky as this blood moon eclipse is happening. 
In fact, it is being reported on Fox10Phoenix.com that it is possible that this comet could be visible to the naked eye at that time. Look up into the night sky this month, and you'll get a glimpse of a massive comet that could be visible to the naked eye. According to Space.com, the comet 12P Pons Brooks, also known as the Devil Comet, will be visible to most people on Earth, while it completes its 71-year orbit around the Sun. Known as an ice volcano comet, according to NASA, its passage near the Sun prompts it to erupt from exposure to solar radiation, which cracks open large icy shells that deliver a show of ice and gas shooting out of the base, making the comet appear larger and brighter as it gets closer to Earth. This comet only comes around once every 71 years. So it is a pretty big deal. According to the New York Post, those of us living in the Northern Hemisphere will want to view it in either late March of during the month of April, because it will move out of sight in May. But by the end of March, the comet may be able to be seen with the naked eye at dusk in the Northern Hemisphere, against the zodiacal constellation Aries in the Western Horizon, according to Space.com. It will continue to make its extraordinarily bright presence known during next month's total solar eclipse, and by April 21, will arrive at its closest distance to the Sun, before fading from sight in the Northern Hemisphere in May. It will then be visible from the Southern Hemisphere before disappearing from view from Earth until 2095 again. So, the run of the Devil Comet will be taking place during the Blood Moon Purim eclipse on March 25, and the total solar eclipse on April 8. Is that just a coincidence? And let me throw one more thing at you. The all-knowing NASA tells us that between now and September, a star 3,000 light years away will explode. Actually, I'm sick of this fairy tale news, but let's just read it, okay? That explosion will be so bright that it will actually be visible to the naked eye in the northern hemisphere. Between now and September, have your eyes peeled for a truly spectacular night show. Not for regular old fireworks, that is, but for a rare celestial event. A nova explosion from 3,000 light years away that's predicted to flare into our night sky and become visible to our naked eyes in the northern hemisphere. NASA says the nova explosion, which is essentially when a binary star system explodes, will emanate from the T. Corony Borealis star system and will be as bright as the North Star for around a week. Okay then. Like I said, there is certainly going to be a lot going on in the heavens during the months ahead. And I believe that all of these signs in the heavens are meant to tell us something. In Luke chapter 21, Jesus specifically told us that there would be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, in the days just before his return. We may not understand everything perfectly right now, but we should be watching, because Jesus instructed us to watch. The things that are about to happen in the heavens are absolutely fascinating, and many believe that they have enormous implications for 2024 and beyond. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.